Thundercats YK model with global symmetry. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, I really appreciate uh, my uh, invitation to this uh, work, nice workshop. Today, I will talk about the supersymmetric SYK model with global symmetry. And uh, here is, uh, is my uh, work with my pre uh, collaborator, Frisbee. And uh, I uh, thanks to the Frank Ferry, you probably there is a. Which was your collaborator? <laughs> <laughs> both of them. Actually, yeah, actually both of them. <laughs> yeah, he not have me a lot. He give me a lot. And uh, yeah, there is. Uh, I I hope there is a lot of motivation so that I can at least keep uh, this motivation. And uh, so SYK model is just a simple quantum mechanical model, and uh, the, its features are uh, random uh, interactions. And uh, the, uh, always there is uh, there is a lot of SYK model, like the model, and uh, it features like uh, the emergent symmetry at strong coupling limit. And uh, this emergent symmetry is not always exact symmetry, and uh, it's uh, uh, spontaneous and split broken, and uh, it gives us uh, some the, some suitable convergence. And this global stop boson is responsible so, for the maximal chaos. And uh, today's talk, uh, I will talk about the plus alpha to the, this maximal chaos. And uh, basically, uh, I promise that today I will run out of time. So, so because of that, I will just give you a teaser of the, my uh, final talk. So here, uh, in, uh, we, I will calculate the out of time correlator, which is basically a cocoin function. And uh, it uh, shows some chaotic behavior, which is uh, grows exponentially. And uh, here there is uh, some maximal uh, chaos. Uh, some particular four point function uh, shows uh, this maximal uh, uh, exponential growth. And uh, there is uh, also, I calculate uh, uh, the correction to the, this one. I will explain uh, what it means, the uh, correction. And uh, there are another four, uh, four point function shows the uh, Laplace exponential uh, pi over beta. And uh, there is, uh, you can also calculate the uh, uh, Correction and uh, some other uh, some four point function shows the linear growth rather than the, its exponential growth. That is also observed in many places, and uh, there is also corresponding growth, and uh, there are less of them is not uh, uh, exponential. Maybe just a relation which are the fermions and then ah. super symmetric. So chi is a fer fermion and b is auxiliary boson. Okay. So okay. yeah, I will explain details. There is uh, some very simple e explanation for this one. And uh, first of all, I plan to review the SYK model, but uh, hopefully uh, Ferrari did well, and uh, I already skip it. And uh, instead, I will already talk about the tensor model, so because some people are interested in tensor model, and uh, in which uh, many people study also tensor model, so I already talk about tensor model. And then I will explain my super symmetry SYK model with global symmetry, and then discuss some emergent symmetry and how it breaks, and uh, give the expected action, and uh, discuss some chaotic behavior. And uh, let's leave you. And the uh, SYK model is an uh, uh, n minor fermion, and uh, i goes to 1 to n, and uh, there is a kinetic term, and uh, this, there is a random interaction, as usual. And uh, uh, this random coupling constant should be average over the, this Gaussian ensemble, and uh, one has to do this can average, but I will skip the, this one, probably. You already heard in the last uh, lecture. And uh, there is uh, another uh, SYK like uh, tensor model, which is also quantum mechanical model. But the uh, SYK model is a uh, vector model. But uh, this this model, tensor model, is uh, basically fermionic fermionic variable, and uh, the, the, it has rank three uh, tensor. And uh, in general, you can consider rank three or rank five, or any odd rank uh, is okay. And uh, this uh, interaction, the Hamiltonian is given by this one. And uh, actually, this Hamiltonian is represented by this tetrahedral. So each vertex represents the, this each fermion, and uh, this, this uh, edge represents the contraction of the each ON index. So if, if you follow up the how this ON index co contracted, this actually is exact same as the tetrahedral. And the SYK model, there is uh, some pro and cons in the SYK model and tensor model. Of course, SYK model, uh, this random coupling constant might be uh, cons because uh, uh, in the end, you have to answer what is the dictionary for this uh, random coupling constant in the end. So that is uh, in the, 
we have to answer it, but uh, for a while we, I will not talk about this one because I don't know the answer. And but uh, this uh, uh, tensor model, there is no random coupling model. So this this coupling on J is a genuine user the coupling constant. So there is no randomness. So there is, uh, you can this is genuine quantum mechanical model. So unitarity is also guaranteed, and uh, this is more close, might be close to the string theory. However, SYK model, because it's a vector model, it's very simple. You can solve, I mean, you can obtain the, some collective action. However, tensor model, there are too many when invariants. You can, like, uh, you can easily imagine. Vector model, there are a lot of uh, uh, the when invariant operator. So tensor model, huge. And uh, you, it's hard to uh, write down the collective action for this uh, when invariant operator. But uh, there is uh, some, some attempt of the, this, uh, this which group. And uh, uh, for a while, I already uh, mentioned this is a little bit uh, different from the, my talk, but uh, it's uh, interesting, so that's why I'm trying to talk. So uh, you can consider the rank D tensor model. You can ask why we take care of the rank D. Rank 3 is maybe enough. The reason rank D is a little bit late to the large Q limit of the uh, SYK. I'm not saying it's the same, but uh, it's a little bit similar. Uh, the uh, idea. So in the end, you need uh, some rank D tensor model. And uh, the difficulty of the rank D tensor model is uh, how it's difficult, a little bit difficult to construct the Hamiltonian. However, we found a very interesting way to construct the, this Hamiltonian. So as I said, the Hamiltonian is represented by this uh, tetrahedron for the rank 3 case. For the rank D case, this is equivalent to the construction of the generalized color tetrahedron. So uh, here, te this is tetrahedron with color, and you can consider some kind of uh, uh, polygons with the uh, five vertex, so, uh, six vertex, or eight vertex. And uh, each vertex is co uh, connected by to the all the other vertexes, and uh, each uh, for this each vertex uh, the color. The, the same color cannot be connected to the, the same vertex. So you have to consider the touchy vertex. Then you can write, easily write down the Hamiltonian. So this is equivalent to the, this question. So suppose that there are six baseball teams. Over here, you can probably say the six cricket team. And you have to do the lead. And so each team should play the one game for a day and should play uh, uh, with uh, all other teams within five days. So how can you make a schedule? So this is uh, known as Robin round, uh, round Robin tournament. So it's tournament, but actually it's lead. So the answer is that here, Robin round schedule. Actually, uh, there is many uh, way to construct this schedule. And uh, this is one way. So this is very easy. First, uh, write down the one, two, three, four, five in the table. And, uh, and uh, this, uh, this is one and two is team, team name. And uh, one and two team uh, compete, and the six, three, and the five, four team compete. And then next one is a fixed uh, one, and uh, rotate the other number, and uh, construct uh, this game uh, schedule. Then uh, you can you easily know that, that it's satisfied uh, our criteria. So team will correspond to the vertex, and uh, it corresponds to our permanent. And uh, each day, first day, second day, correspond to the color of the edge of the that tetrahedron, and uh, it corresponds to O-N group or, or the contraction. So let's see. Uh, we have first schedule. So we write down the six uh, vertex, and uh, connect the uh, red, this is red color, one, two vertex, three, six, and four, five. And the second color also, uh, you can connect the vertex in according to this uh, rule, and so on. And then finally, you end up with uh, this kind of, uh, uh, of uh, some kind of uh, higher dimensional polygon, and uh, you can easily recognize. Uh, so each vertex are uh, rank by formula, and uh, you just connect the each uh, uh, each O-N index according to the, this uh, edge. So so for for example, one and two is connected by in the first uh, I one I one should be connected. Contracted. So in this way, you can easily co construct the Hamiltonian. It's easy. Uh, it's supposed to be the other paper. So anyway, let's do. 
So, uh, Shiraz and their company took up, uh, studied uh, this uh, rank D uh, uh, tensor model and uh, they uh, uh, claim that the effective action of the uh, rank D tensor model is given by here. So, this, uh, uh, this uh, Shiraz action is the same as uh, the SYK model, but uh, there is additional action. This is already all, all involved with uh, when rotation, uh, when transformation, and uh, you will see the dissimilar action in, uh, in my work. And uh, this is also found in the complex SYK model. And uh, even the, my previous paper on the, the uh, SYK model is global symmetry. You can also see this uh, effective action. And uh, they uh, estimate uh, this uh, out of time of correlator. There is exponential growth. And together with the linear growth, uh, you also, in the result of my uh, the, the, uh, this talk wait, 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 is also. Sorry, wait, wait. Um, what is this? This is the effective action of the tensor model. The tensor model. Yeah, they. And what is G? What are the other variables? G. G. Yes, what is G? J. Second. G. G. Second. Trace. Oh, oh, oh. G is a SO, SOQ the matrix. Uh, sorry, about that. yeah, SOQ and matrix. SOQ matrix. Yeah. So we will see the also similar yeah. thing. Yeah, I will explain in detail. So this is more just, yeah, more like in in my model. Yeah. So, so, so the their claim is that this n square comes from the number of zero modes. So it's a string. So n square. So his claim is that their claim is that. So there is n square number of the zero uh, light mode, and uh, if you consider the, this. Uh, Bulk dual that's supposed to correspond to the some gauge field in the bulk. Then you can you can see that the, there is an n square number of gauge field in the bulk in the classical uh, in the classical limit. So it's a little bit different from the, our knowledge of the ideal shift. So their claim is that uh, so that's why it's uh, if there exists a bulk dual of the tensor model, it's uh, a little bit uh, uh, different from the, uh, what I what we know. Actually, we, I also, uh, Chris and I also calculate uh, various uh, uh, four point function in the rank D tensor model. Actually, we also observe this kind of thing. And uh, this is just messy uh, calculation, so I will just skip it. But uh, uh, if, yeah, that's, let's just skip. Just uh, uh, what we found is that there is a disconnected diagram. The zero pillow is that uh, this is uh, just, uh, you can consider the four point function. And uh, you, you can construct uh, this ON index in the vertically or horizontally, in the, according to the, using the delta or some uh, anti-symmetric or the sh uh, symmetric uh, tensor. Then you can, by, uh, using the group theory, you can decompose the, this uh, uh, four-point function into the many other channels. And uh, we found that some kind of zero pillow means that all, every ON index is uh, contracted vertically. Then it shows a bit very similar to the SYK model. So there is disconnected time piece, and there is a, uh, exponential growth. There is no no growth. So it, it, you see the, the ratio between them is the n to the power two uh, d and the n to the d. That is related to the the, the, the coefficient of Schwarzschild is n to the power d. That is the right way. Right? So in one pillow, you you can see the, the linear growth. And uh, here also in the general K pillow, you can also decode. It's actually this is uh, I write on the very schematically, but uh, actually it's very complicated, and uh, you can already decompose it. And uh, there is always disconnected piece, exponential piece, and uh, no growth and uh, linear growth. And uh, you can already separate, but uh, it's not the uh, exact. Uh, it's not so obvious to how to separate them. And uh, now I will go back to the, our, my original uh, their, uh, this talk. So I will talk about, uh, so this n equal one supersymmetry as yk model is, uh, co co uh, is made of the, this super, super field psi. Is, uh, for, this is fermion super field, and the uh, first component is uh, Majorana fermion, the second one is uh, auxiliary boson. And uh, this this super field has a ON index as usual in SYK model, and uh, I add additional flavor index. So this Q is not to be large, so it could be finite, and you can also consider large large Q. 
And the uh, action is uh, given, uh, given by uh, given with uh, this kinetic term and the random interaction term. And uh, this kinetic term D is a super derivative. And uh, here I using the legacy data. The reason is that uh, I wanna interest in the ON uh, invariant action. So there is two way to make a ON invariant. One is the Kronecker data. The other is epsilon. But uh, if you using the uh, in the non supersymmetric case, you can using the delta. Then you can uh, the effective action, uh, the action, collective action is related to the Schur polynomial. But here it's hard to using the that chronic delta only. The reason is that so if you using the old chronic delta only, the number of uh, flavors should be even. That means the fermion, the number of fermions should be even. Then because this measure is Grassmann and odd. Then the action is not the Grassmannian even. So you need, uh, because of this measure, the fermion number should be old. Then the, the, net, the simplest one is the Levi-Civetta. Uh, Levi so that's why I'm using the Levi-Civetta. And uh, as usual, you have to also, uh, this random coupling constant is uh, 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 follow the, this Gaussian answer. And uh, uh, our model is you can consider some subsector. Sort of so SOQ subsector of the, we, are, we have a SOQ uh, symmetry and the SOQ single sector correspond to exactly n equal one super symmetry SYK model. So if you see the, the single sector, that is uh, uh, also uh, same feature as n equal one super symmetry SYK. And the Bosoni sector is uh, uh, same as, uh, it's very similar to the uh, complex SYK model and all SYK with the global symmetry and the <coughs> intersection would be similar to the, the original SYK model. But uh, because Q in this, in our model, Q is odd, so it's not exactly the same as the original SYK model or this uh, complex SYK So after disorder averaging, uh, probably Ferrari did uh, show the, this uh, 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 disorder averaging. Then uh, we, uh, this model has uh, ON, in, ON symmetry in large end. So in large end, you can, uh, it is natural to define this viral Kashuko field. So this is very analogous to the, this uh, uh, radial coordinate in the uh, Cartesian coordinate. Here, Anta is one of the frontier of the, this uh, 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 bilocal uh, field theory. And uh, you can also uh, see such kind of bilocal field in the 3D OM vector model due to the highest spin curve. <laughs> yeah, in, in here, the, this bilocal field play an important role. And uh, here, the most uh, uh, important for the technical, uh, for the detailed uh, calculation, is that uh, this biocar field or here biocar super field is can be treated as a matrix in the biocar super space, which means that uh, uh, this biocar field is a matrix in the tau theta uh, uh, alpha space. So you can naturally define the, this kind of matrix product you know, of the uh, this biocar field. The, and uh, as, as usual, uh, when you go, uh, go to from the Cartesian coordinate and uh, when you go to the radial coordinate, this is a, a nonlinear uh, transformation. So you need uh, some kind of a, uh, Jacobian. So uh, in this transformation, when you express your uh, path integral, uh, originally it's uh, expressed in terms of this uh, super field, and uh, when you express your path integral in terms of this bilocal super field, you have this kind of uh, 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 non-trivial Jacobian, and I will express I will explain the what super trace and log in the next slide. And uh, actually, you will realize that this is very similar to the uh, Jacobian in the radial coordinate. So it's more like a, if you exponentiate it. So this is a kind of a radial coordinate r, and uh, this n player of the dimension. So r to the power d minus one is a kind of a, your what you know in the Jacobian in the radial coordinate. And the uh, interesting is that there is uh, no counter term. In non symmetric, there is uh, some uh, uh, divergent, di divergent term. But uh, here, there, because as usual in super symmetric, there is no divergent term. And uh, we have this kind, uh, this super, I would call super space in tau. Theta is a Grassmannian variable, and alpha is flavor variable. 
like a scene, like uh, when you wrote down in the original variables, your psi, alpha, one, alpha, two, you know, the action was invariant under both, you know, your S-O-N as well as S-O-Q thing, right? Uh, how do you distinguish which of these you treat as a gauge symmetry and which one as a global symmetry? Uh, here, here I didn't really declare it to be that Yeah, so here I just consider the enlargement and the idea into the, the gauge field or oh, yeah, it's a little difficult to oh, into the Gaussian gauge field because uh, you have a random interaction. But uh, in principle, you can possible. But uh, here uh, I take a large n limit for Q is uh, so Q is finite. Okay. So so this the, so this is contraction between all the O n. So this is just a declaration that yeah. ON is a gauge thing and yeah. the other thing is good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm interested in the, some single sector of the OS, ON, single sector. So. And the one, another interesting uh, some formulation in our work is the uh, supermetric uh, formulation. So if you work out uh, this super field, and uh, if you work out uh, this metric product, it's a really tedious calculation. Very long, and if you decompose in the field, uh, component, and very tedious. It's easy, but tedious. But uh, we realize that if you write down, it, you can always extend your super field by local super field in the component field. And then we define the, this kind of super metric. Of course, uh, this kind of super metric notation is uh, usual, but in this case, it's a little strange. But because row is 1, I put here a0, a1, a2, a3. So it's a little bit unusual. I have freedom to define my super matrix, but the let's define it this way. So in according to this definition, if you, your super field is Grassmann and even, like a biopart field, then those component is Grassmann and even, which means that A1 is Grassmann and old. Which means that if you according to this translation, and uh, Grassmann and even super field correspond to Grassmann and old super matrix. And uh, it turned out that uh, this, uh, this supermetric notation is more natural in the in SYK model or SYK like uh, some vector model. And uh, so previously I de defined the super trace, the Jacobian is super trace log. Then uh, when I say super trace log is the super trace of the this super matrix. And then you will realize that uh, this by, uh, super matrix, uh, uh, multi uh, this matrix multiplication of the incomponents is nothing but the two Q by two Q ma matrix. So uh, I forgot to mention that. So one thing is that it's a little bit hard to in this slide. It's hard to distinguish. But uh, when I write down that this is bold symbol without alpha one, alpha two, it means that this is a Q by Q by local field. So. Uh, if there is no alpha 1, alpha 2, this means that this itself is a Q by Q matrix. So this uh, complicated uh, matrix product is uh, nothing but, uh, nothing but uh, this uh, 2Q by 2Q matrix. And uh, this uh, product of the component field is uh, a matrix product in tau and alpha space so without theta. So this is more like a very uh, jet, uh, easy the, the matrix product, uh, what you know in the uh, when you run in the middle school. So it simplifies calculation a lot. And uh, by using this uh, by local super field, uh, I can express uh, the our my, our path integral in terms of this field, and uh, we, we one can obtain uh, this collective action. This is uh, similar to the what Ferrari showed in, with uh, sigma and g. And the first term come from the this kinetic term by using the, this uh, super derivative matrix given by here. So this is a matrix notation, and uh, this is super field notation. And uh, this term, second term, come from the Jacobian factor. And the third term come from the, this disorder averaging, and uh, this determinant is Q by Q uh, matrix determinant. And uh, move to the emerging uh, uh, symmetry. So, a strong coupling limit, uh, probably I think uh, uh, you already learned. Uh, you can drop the this kinetic term. You no, I'm sorry, I, I didn't do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, there is many ways to say that, but uh, you can rescale this psi with by j or... So a strong coupling limit, this kinetic term, you can drop it. You can ignore it. It's kind. Then the rest of the action is invariant under the super parameterization. 
uh, with this constraint. So this super equivalentization is uh, preserved the super derivative up to some factor. So this cons because of this constraint, the super Jacobian in the, this uh, transformation is not, nothing but super derivative of the y. And then uh, our the effective uh, the collective action without kinetic term is invariant under the, this uh, parametrized transform uh, uh, transformation. So uh, this term, trace log term, this term it will be decoupled because of the property of the log. And uh, this term also, this vector, is also cancelled with uh, the Jacobian from here. So you, you can say it's easily already guess that uh, this, uh, our action is invariant on the Schubert parameterization. Also, I will, let me discuss the uh, SOQ metric. So if you draw the, this, uh, if you ignore the, the kinetic term, you can also consider the SOQ transformation. You define the SOQ matrix uh, uh, parameterized by tau and theta. So if, if you stand in this form, so if you define H as, 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 as SOQ matrix, and uh, this K, it, so H is a uh, uh, Bojani SOQ matrix, and the K is a uh, uh, fermionic uh, anti-symmetric matrix. And you can easily uh, show that this uh, G is uh, SO, uh, satisfy this SOQ matrix uh, property definition. Then under the, this transformation, this is really similar to the transformation of the Westminovit model, and you can easily uh, expect that under this transformation, this is a local SOQ transformation because G depends on the tau ones, uh, tau and theta. And uh, under this transformation, because of also in the, for the same region, the, uh, for the same region as before, the, because of log, this term will be dropped. And uh, this, because of the property of the determinant, this term will be just one, because of determinant uh, g of is one. Then, uh, under this local transformation, uh, this, the, uh, the collective action without the kinetic term is also invariant. And together, uh, together with the super parameterization, the, our collective action is invariant uh, under the, the semi-direct product of the super parameterization and the local SOQ. The reason why it's a semi semi-direct product, product is that this uh, SOQ matrix G also depends on the tau and theta, so it's not commute. This two transformation does not commute. And uh, you can work out uh, some symmetry algebra, and uh, it turns out that just uh, you can easy, easily imagine that uh, the algebra is super Pirasura and uh, uh, super Kachimudi. And uh, you don't see the central extension because uh, this central extension is uh, uh, anomaly. To see such kind of central extension, you have to work out very carefully, but which, which we didn't. So to go to the uh, to obtain the some effective action, uh, let's consider slightly the uh, classical solution. So one of the advantage of the, this uh, uh, collective action approach is that uh, you don't have to work out the Feynman diagram. So usually, if you work out the Feynman diagram, SYK model, original SYK model, it's doable. You can do. There is some combinatorics, uh, but uh, it's easy. But if you're interested in some flavor and the interest in super, symmet uh, super symmetry, then it becomes very, very complicated. But here in collective field theory, you don't have to worry about it. Just do the large and systematic large and expansion, then you can uh, calculate uh, like a two point function, four point function very easily. And uh, by varying this uh, collective, uh, in large and first, I want to calculate the uh, uh, large and set point indication, and uh, I will. Uh, you, you can vary this uh, action with respect to the biological field, and uh, one can obtain set point indication, and uh, you uh, you you take uh, the SOQ uh, invariant answer, which means that the uh, classical solution is uh, uh, proportional to the Q by Q identity matrix, and uh, if you plug it, you obtain the uh, this Schwinger uh, Dyson indication. This is the exact same as Schwinger Dyson equation as in the n equal one supersymmetry SYK model. Uh, uh, Schwinger Dyson equation of the two-point function, uh, and uh, this is not so surprising because uh, our classical, 
solution of the bilocal field is the in actually two point function of the super field. So you uh, you obtain this uh, uh, set point uh, the stringer dissonication and the this stringer dissonication is also invariant under the super parameterization, and then you can obtain the scaling solution. And uh, the uh, emergent symmetry, which we discussed before, the emergent uh, super parameterization and the local SOQ, is not exact symmetry, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's actually it's explicitly broken by kinetic term, which we ignore, and uh, it's also spontaneously broken by this classical solution. If you try to, if you uh, and. Uh, uh, if you transform the classical solution, uh, the reparameterization, then it's not invariant. But uh, it's invariant uh, under the OSP 1 slash 2. So it's uh, the super reparameter, our emergence uh, symmetry is broken to the OSP 1 slash 2 and uh, global SOQ. And uh, because of this uh, symmetric breaking, you will have a slow number called stone bosom. And uh, I will discuss the uh, effective action of the, this. Uh, uh, which, uh, light mode. And the one way, the easiest way is the actual expansion. <coughs> you first, you have classical solution, and uh, you transform it by using the uh, transform uh, uh, using the super reparameterization and the local SOQ, and uh, you plug in this transformed classical solution into the uh, in, into the kinetic term, which break the uh, our emergent symmetry expression. Then the, you can then you can obtain the, this uh, effective action. The one advantage of the this super uh, super symmetry as one came the is that uh, uh, non super symmetry there is some divergence, log epsilon divergence, one over epsilon. But uh, in this uh, one over uh, one over uh, in this case one over some x uh, divergence. But the uh, super symmetry case such a divergence cancel each other. So they, you don't have any divergence in this calculation. And uh, this, uh, uh, you first term is a super Schwarzschild action, this, which you can, uh, which was also already observed in the n equal one super symmetry as YK model. And uh, this is come from the broken uh, super parameterization. And the second term come from the broken the uh, local S SOQ. And uh, this J is uh, defined <coughs> as follows. So this J is a supercurrent by of the this uh, 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 SOQ matrix, and uh, this action is uh, nothing but the uh, super particle on the SOQ gram manifold. And uh, if you, this is not necessary, but if you manipulate slightly, you can obtain the uh, supersymmetric matrix model. And that's uh, easy to explain. And uh, I will talk about the chaotic behavior. So. Chaos is um, uh, one of the definitions of chaos, you can say, the Lapno exponent. Lapno exponent is that how initial, uh, the, uh, how initial condition, change of the initial condition effect on the, the later time. So you, this, you heard of the butterfly, velo uh, butterfly effect, and the initial condition uh, uh, effect exponentially to the, late, uh, to the later time. So I want to incorporate it into the, uh, our quantum uh, for that. And uh, if you write down in the Poisson bracket, this, uh, uh, you can expect that this uh, definition of the Lapton exponent can be written is as follows. And uh, if you enhance to the, uh, if you transform to the, I mean, if you change to the quantum version, you can easily expect that you can just, uh, if you have Poisson bracket, you can just uh, change the commutator. But uh, the just commit, Expectation value of commutator is just uh, zero, so I will using the commutator square. And uh, now this is our definition of the uh, some uh, Lapton exponent. So if, if you expand this commutator Sorry. square, why the expectation of the commutator is zero? Ah, I think uh, uh, no, it's not uh, exactly zero, but uh, you don't uh, probably you don't see the exponential behavior. So it's just two, two point function and uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Probably, uh, if you just uh, imagine, uh, you know, uh, sandwiching by energy eigenstate, for each eigenstate, you can see exponential growth probably, but overall coefficient can be plus or 
minus, so minus and they can cancel, I yeah. think. I don't know if it can exactly cancel. It should exactly cancel, I think, but I don't know the proof. But the no, it's not exactly cancel because you know the wave of commutators of this sort is exactly what you want to compute in a linear response theory, for example. So, uh, and, yes, and yes, these yes. Are, these are very important quantities; they're not zero. Even so, in classical theory, if you take average with respect to initial condition, they just add up to zero. But each initial condition gives a non-zero result. So, so, so he, he, it, it depends on the meaning of this bracket, but he. Think he takes a thermal average or yes. something. So. Sure. Yeah. So, so if you expand this commutator square, you uh, one of the term is uh, this uh, ta uh, the uh, ta the it's not the time order. So this uh, this exponential behavior is found to be uh, come from the, this uh, out of time order for later. And uh, this Lapunov, the Maldacena and Sembold and Schenker show that uh, this Lapunov exponent is uh, bounded by pi over beta. So in particular, this is a quantum Lapunov exponent because this if you there is a h bar here. If you take a h bar to be zero, then the, this diverges. So this kind of two pi over beta is really uh, con con uh, this uh, quantum chaos. And uh, black hole is supposed to maximally chaotic. Uh, how, how much time do I have? Still, you have uh, 24 minutes. OK, OK, fine. So black hole is supposed to be maximally chaotic. So you can expect that the Lapunov exponent of the black hole it will, will be to pi over beta. And uh, uh, SYK model was so popular because uh, this uh, uh, this SYK model saturated uh, this chaos bound, which means that uh, this Lapunov exponent is to pi over beta. So this is a very strong uh, signal or the clue, or you can say. Uh, signal that uh, this might be holographic, holographic dual of the black hole. And uh, so I will in the, now I will uh, evaluate the, this Lapno exponent in our, uh, in our model. So first of all, biocard field is made of the two uh, super field, and uh, each super field transforms into a fundamental representation, which means that this biocard super field it's decomposing into the singlet and the anti symmetric and symmetric trade list. And uh, we will uh, evaluate uh, this four point function of the uh, four point function of super field, and uh, we will consider the SO, uh, uh, ON invariant uh, four point function, which means that this four point function is nothing but two point function of a uh, biocar super field. And uh, uh, because of this uh, decomposition, and uh, you can also see that uh, this uh, uh, two-point function of biocar field is decomposed into single uh, channel and uh, anti-symmetric channel and uh, symmetric trade list channel. And uh, I will discuss uh, each channel separately. And uh, in each channel, also four-point function can be decomposed into two uh, contributions. One is uh, zero mode contribution, the other is non-zero mode contribution. This zero mode contribution means that this, this is a contribution from the light mode. And uh, this is uh, uh, this is diverging as strong, strict storm coupling limit, which means that uh, this uh, uh, this term would be uh, proportional to the uh, beta times j. J is coupling constant. And uh, because uh, you cannot use the super conformal symmetry this, uh, for this uh, zero mode, so uh, I will evaluate uh, this contribution from the effective action which I showed pre pre in pre previous slide. And uh, this uh, uh, contribution gives the leading Lapunov exponent. On the other hand, non-general contribution is uh, finite at the strict co strong coupling limit. So then you can use a uh, super conformal symmetry, and uh, you can expand uh, uh, this, uh, this non-general model in terms of the super conformal eigenfunctions. And uh, this uh, contribution gives the correction to the, this, this leading Lapunov exponent that I will explain later. First, let's consider the general mode contribution from the effective action. For this, I will uh, consider the infinitesimal transformation of the super parameterization and the infinitesimal SOQ transformation. And I plug in this uh, infinitesimal transformation into the, the effective action. And then you can obtain the quadratic effective action of the, this infinitesimal parameter general mode. And because of this is quadratic, and you can easily read off the two-point function of the this light mode. So in particular, this epsilon 
epsilon correspond to the uh, bosonic part of the super repartmentalization. And uh, eta is fermionic part of the super repartmentalization, and uh, rho is bosonic part of the SOQ, and K is uh, fermionic part of the SOQ. And uh, you can see that because uh, our the emergent SOQ symmetry is broken to the uh, OSP 1 slash 2, and uh, global SOQ, you can see that uh, this effective action vanishing in such a mode. Uh, for example, n equal 0, n equal plus minus 1, it's vanished. That corresponds to the uh, SL2R. And then let's uh, consider calculate the default point function, which is uh, nothing but two point function of bio -car. And uh, 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 this four point function can be decomposed into singlet channel and the anti symmetric channel and symmetric trade this <coughs> channel, as we discussed. And the first term, the reading term, will be disconnected diagram, which is the product of the two-point function. Two-point function is nothing but this uh, classical solution. And the next term, next one over n term is the non-zero mode contribution. Of course, I at first uh, in the strict, strict strong coupling limit, you you already ignore the, this uh, uh, zero mode contribution because it's uh, infinite. You cannot calculate the, uh, this one. Uh, in the st st strong coupling limit. And uh, to evaluate this general mode contribution, I will using the dis disconnected uh, diagram. So by varying the, this uh, classical solution with respect to the, this infinitesimal transformation, which I define here, and varying uh, uh, this uh, classical solution, and uh, I evaluate the two-point function of the, this infinitesimal transformation, I can ask evaluate the general, this general mode contribution. This is, uh, uh, di diagrammatically, this is nothing but uh, there is a four point function and uh, this is uh, uh, contributed by this general mode between them. And uh, this uh, uh, two point function of the general mode is one over n. So that's why this uh, leading contribution is suppressed by one over n. Suppressed by 1 over n, and uh, now it be because of this is 1 over n, now this contribution is the same order as in the non zero mode contribution. And I will now evaluate this, uh, uh, this quantity. So far, we discussed Euclidean theory, which means that on the, uh, this finite circle. Uh, but uh, I, I, I'm interested in the real time out of time loop later. For this one, one trick is that. First, you calculate the four-point function on the circle, and the analytic continuity the tau one and tau two to the real time. This is a usual trick. Or there is another way using the retarded kernel method. But uh, for now, I will use this one. Then it, it gives the out of time order for later. So first, I will calculate the the, the contribution of the bosonic general mode of the super parameterization. And uh, if you vary the this classical solution, which I hear I sh first I have to vary the this classical solution with respect to the bosonic uh, bosonic general mode using the bosonic general mode, then. Because this uh, reparameterization does not change the uh, SOQ uh, structure. So our classical solution is originally proportional to the Q by Q identity matrix. Then it's still, after you vary the with respect to the, this bosonic general mode, it's still identity. So you can easily guess that there is no contri uh, the only contribution to, of the general mode is the single sector. They don't contribute to the anti-symmetric or symmetric trace this channel. So I will evaluate the, the contribution to the, this uh, uh, singlet channel. And uh, we found that uh, this is result. But uh, diagrammatically, you can easily uh, expect that. So you, if you consider chi, 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 chi is minor fermion, that can be coupled to the bosonic channel. Or chi, chi, bb, also coupled to the uh, the bosonic zero mode of the reparameterization, also BBBB. And uh, in the result, you can read off this result. So the, I uh, first evaluate uh, this zero mode contribution and uh, do the analysis continuation. And uh, if you see the, this one, one 
contribution come from the correspond to this one. And uh, theta 1, theta 2 times 1 correspond to this contribution. And the theta 1 times theta 2, theta 3, theta 4 correspond to the, this diagram. And all of them grows uh, uh, exponentially with the Laplace exponent 2 pi over beta. So this diagram, this tall point function, uh, saturate chaos bound. Also, this you can also confirm the, using the retarded kernel method. This is actually already known in the uh, n equal 1 supersymmetry SYK model, and uh, also it's a common uh, feature of the uh, non supersymmetry SYK model. However, now let's consider the contribution of the Fermionic general model of the super parameterization. And uh, as usual, the only contribution is the singlet channel for the same region. And uh, when we evaluate, we obtain this one. So, theta 1, theta 3 correspond to the, this diagram, d chi, d chi. And uh, you can also read off the what kind of diagram uh, grows uh, exponentially. And uh, the interest part is uh, this part. So, Laplace exponent is pi over beta, not 2 pi over beta. Uh, I will explain more detail uh, later. But, uh, and uh, the, uh, if you compare it uh, to the previous uh, uh, calculation, this uh, uh, this four-point function or the two-point function of biocar are uh, all the they are all involved with the bosonic biocar field. On the other hand, if you come here, they are all involved with the fermionic biocar field. That is uh, very natural because uh, this big high, the biocar field, only couples to the fermionic general because of uh, because of Fermi statistics. For example, chi 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 cannot couple to the uh, this uh, uh, Fermion in general mode. So that's why we don't see the, this uh, four point function from the, this uh, Fermion in general mode contribution. So this Lacuno exponent is, uh, uh, has not been observed in the, uh, of course, there is no such a Lacuno exponent in the non supersymmetry. And though any one supersymmetry SYK model also should have this kind of pi over beta Lacuno exponent. And uh, we also consider, uh, one can also evaluate the uh, bosonic general mode contribution of the SOQ local symmetry. And unlike the, uh, unlike the general mode of the uh, reparameterization, this uh, general mode only contributes to the uh, anti symmetric channel. There is no contribution to the singlet channel or the symmetric trade list channel. And uh, we evaluate uh, this contribution and uh, after analytic continuation, we found that uh, it grows linearly. And uh, the other feature is that it's only in, there is no theta component. In principle, because this is a bosonic general mode, so it can be coupled to the chi chi bb kind of whole point function. But uh, when we calculated, the only uh, contribution we found is chi 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 chi. So because it's linear, of course, this Laplace exponent is zero. And uh, this linear growth uh, is uh, already observed in the many places. Uh, like a uh, non super symmetric case also observed in the tensor model is also observed. And uh, this uh, uh, linear growth is a little bit strange in some sense because if you consider the maximally chaotic model, then you expect that some kind of core point function will exhibit the maximal Laplace exponent to pi over beta or pi over beta or whatever. But uh, this is zero, short to zero. So, this is actually not so surprising because uh, this whole point function is uh, this or this bi this biocar field is actually uh, related to the SOQ generator. So if you consider this chi chi and uh, if you consider the uh, a uh, anti symmetric channel of the, this one, this is uh, and if you expand the Taylor expansion, that is exactly correspond to the. Uh, SOQ generator. So SOQ generator is a very special operator. So you don't expect a special operator should uh, some Laplace exponent. So there you can also consider the Fermi general mode contribution, and uh, there is no. Uh, uh, we found that there is no contribution from the, this uh, Fermi general mode. And uh, you can uh, you can also confirm this result from the non general mode contribution. So let's suppose the Laplace exponent. There, let's suppose that there is a one over beta j correction to the Laplace exponent. Then there will be also you can evaluate the correction of the to the this exponential growth. So because of this relation, the, the leading term is the 
exponential growth, exponential growth with the max, uh, leading Lacunar exponent. The next term is also grow exponentially, but with t. And uh, this still uh, this with the still the leading Lacunar exponent. And uh, we 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 will observe this kind of contribution from the non-general world. And uh, for non-general mode, I briefly sketch it how, how how one can uh, uh, one can evaluate. Actually, this actually take a long time to calculate. The previous section is a little bit short to calculate. But uh, for this non-general mode, you first uh, you have to find uh, you have to expand the, your four-point function in terms of the super conformal eigen function, which means that this uh, you have to find the some eigen function of the super Kashmir operator. Uh, for trying to find this one, you uh, one can use the sh shadow representation, and uh, uh, usually in in our case, you need two type of the basis. And uh, using this uh, uh, this super, uh, the shadow representation of the super conformal eigen function, and uh, you have a nice extraction of expansion of the four point function, and uh, you also do the analysis continuation to the until out of time of the uh, configuration. And then, uh, in the end, uh, I, in to summarize, uh, you obtain you have to like uh, you first obtain the four point function, and you have to m manipulate uh, in such a way that uh, the only one term exponential exponential grow, growing, and the other term does not grow, grow. So this you can obtain this kind of term, and uh, this term is the only term which is exponential growth, and. Uh, if, uh, this term is uh, uh, there is a double pole. So because of double pole, uh, you you would have log chi times chi to the some power. And uh, because of this log chi, you have some linear growth t times is some exponential. This is very brief sketchy, but uh, you don't have to worry about that. Just uh, this is result. So uh, let's see the just result. So so for the singular channel of the pole point function. Have uh, you first? Uh, if you set the theta three, theta four equal zero for simplicity, you have t times e to the two pi over theta times t and one theta one theta two. This one corresponds to chi 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 correlation, and the theta one theta two corresponds to this four point function. And uh, you see, there is a leading Lacunar exponent, and uh, this is correction. T you can say this is correction. And uh, here, there, uh, if you set the theta 2 equals theta 4 equals 0, then you also observe that this term, this term also corresponds to chi 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 chi. And uh, this term, theta 1, theta 3, corresponds to b chi b chi, which is the fermionic, later fermionic bilocals. And uh, this term, you can of course confirm that this is a correction to the pi over beta Lacunar exponent. And uh, you can, uh, if you calculate the anti symmetric channel, you can also confirm that there is a uh, linear growth in the, this chi 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 So this is a very consistent with the uh, general mode contribution. And uh, of course, the symmetric trailing channel, there is no growth. And uh, this is a summary of the, uh, our result. So let's, uh, let's just, just briefly summary. And uh, so our four-point function, out of time of correlator, is decomposing into the single, uh, single and anti-symmetric and symmetric trailing channel of the SOQ. And uh, each channel has two contributions, general mode and non-general non mode. And uh, this chi 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 chi, or this kind of uh, four-point function, which is involved with the uh, bosonic bilocal, grows uh, maximal uh, Lacunar exponent, two pi or beta. And the uh, non-general mode gives the uh, corresponding correction. And the uh, fermionic bilocal grows uh, to, uh, it to the pi over beta t. It's a half of the, this one. And the uh, non-general mode, you can also find a consistent uh, correction to that. And uh, the anti-symmetric channel, chi 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 chi, only give, show the uh, linear growth, and uh, you can also find the consistent uh, non-general mode contribution. And uh, the other, there is no growth. And uh, this kind of behavior uh, remind us the, the, uh, this formula. So permitter show that the, this uh, contribution of the double n um, conformal block to the Lacunar exponent is uh, 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 2 pi over beta times s minus 1. 
So S in this case, uh, in, in his case, it's a shift two, and uh, this S is a spin. So our case, if you see here, our case corresponds to this one is a spin two. This is a, uh, uh, this is a spin two case, so S equal two, so that's why two pi over beta. This is a spin three over two. This is a S equal one. This corresponds to S equal half. Of course, you can ask, where is the spin? In this is just quantum mechanical model. But uh, what I say is spin is that if, if you consider the holographic dual of the, this uh, SYK model in 2D gravity, then there must be some gravity. And, uh, and uh, what I say is this comes from the uh, boundary gravity term. And uh, this contribution, this contribution, the second one, would, would come from the boundary gauge, uh, gravity norm. And this term comes from the uh, boundary uh, gauge field, and uh, there will be uh, no exponential growth uh, from the boundary uh, gauge norm. So this uh, looks very consistent with uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, what we expect. And uh, we can also obtain the, uh, we also in the paper, we also obtain the spectrum. There is also a uh, various spectrum. And uh, we also obtain the OP coefficient. Uh, and we confirm that that is also positive. And uh, it's also interesting to uh, study the, this effective action, the second effective action, because this is also a supersymmetric matrix model. And uh, probably one can study that metric model by using the whole joint orbit or the some possibly one can calculate the exactly the free energy. And uh, the other one is uh, one can also uh, consider the pi of beta Laplace point in the various uh, uh, context. Uh, we also studied uh, some uh, general super conformal field theory and uh, some uh, the bulk theory, and uh, we found some similar behavior in the, such a general model. And uh, so uh, I hope that we, uh, we show some results soon. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Which I asked about, but you said you would explain that later, but I never, never heard that. Ah. So, so can you comment on that action? How do you get it? Uh, how do you get it? Right. Mm, actually, this is a claim. I would say it's a claim. But ah, okay. so. The reason is that uh, uh, what, how they obtain is that, of course, you cannot, in the tensor model, you cannot, it's hard to obtain such kind of effective action. What they uh, uh, claim is that uh, it is an assumption. So let's, yeah, this is. It gets worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, I, it's not my work, their assumption. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't calculate this one. So they consider kind of by local operator with the, some OM index. You can imagine that the one component is contracted, the other is fully it's not contracted. And uh, it's a very similar story as uh, in my the, this SYK model story. So you can consider the other way this as a flavor index. And uh, also you can consider the local SOQ transformation and uh, you can get the effective measure in the same way. So can it be checked numerically in the distribution is okay? Uh, no, they didn't. They, uh, they didn't. So, but uh, at least here, you can see that here there is uh, in detail. It's a little bit long, but uh, probably I have time. I probably I have more comment on that. So, first of all, you can calculate the uh, four-point function in uh, in general temperature. And uh, you can calculate a lot of uh, the one kilo or two kilo, and uh, and there you can see the uh, when you calculate it, and uh, you can see the some divergence, right? As in the SY cable, that there is some uh, you can see the some pore, which uh, probably if you go to the finite temperature, it probably gives the uh, this lot of exponential growth. But uh, for that, that is a little bit 
difficult for several reasons because here you probably also, in Tesla model you probably have to, you can consider the gauge field, but then it's a little bit more clear. But if you ignore the gauge field, you can do that. And then, from the this four point calculation, you can guess that where, what is the, uh, what kind of effective action will appear. So for example, if you see here disconnected case, and if you see here divergence, and uh, you can expect that uh, there is a Schwarzschild action, the, the coefficient is uh, at the D because of the ratio between them. Uh, okay, and uh, the this, the yeah. power and, power and uh, this linear term, you can also see the, some kind of divergence. And it's the same as linear, uh, some pore in the SY table then. Then reversely, you can also expect such kind of effective action, which is the same as K. Yeah. So reversely, you can also get. Questions? Oh, thank you again.